Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the best full-time diesel pusher, dollar for dollar. This gives you amazing quality, an amazing floor plan, and an amazing price point. This is a 2024 Holiday Rambler Armada. The model is a 40M. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Armada and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited that we are taking a look at the 2024 Armada. Beautiful on the outside, even more beautiful on the inside. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hey, everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. What the heck's in your hand? Uh, this is your bobblehead, Matt. Burr, burr, burr. And Andrea, guess what? We have a special announcement. We are doing what we're calling the 25 days of bobbleheads, where we're giving away at least 50 bobbleheads awesome. throughout social media. So it starts today. So. We're gonna tell how, how it all works, y'all, is we're gonna ask you to comment something in the video, hashtag bobblehead and answer that. And we don't, we're, you never know when we're gonna tell you to do it. All you gotta do is watch the video. When you hear the phrase that pays, type in that comment and the winner will be announced in the comment section on tomorrow's video. There's a couple rules, Andrea. So Jen, uh, put what day, right here uh, that it's gonna start on the Tobles channels. Guys, we just, put, we just put out a video announcing all the rules. Please watch that video, learn all the rules, no purchase necessary ever. Please be careful this time of year getting scammed. Please watch our video, especially if you want to win one of the bobbleheads. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Let's begin. Model is Holiday Rambler Armada 40M. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 40 feet, one inch. This is the Armada. It's made on a custom Freightliner XCM chassis, which is a modular chassis. We'll show you that in a second. Has a Cummins L9, 380 horsepower, 1150 pound feet of torque. Andre, this is a bad motorhome. This is when you start getting into those next levels the big slide outs, the bigger chassis, the bigger engines but also without going to a 45 foot, you know, super mansion on wheels. Love the Armada, very nice headlight design, generator underneath, it's an Onan 8000 diesel generator, and it does have the tight bridge chassis. Right here, we do have chrome mirrors on both sides and integrated in the mirrors is cameras on your left side and right side. Front bus style door with a door awning, okay? Take a look at this beautiful paint job, Andrea. Is it teal? Uh, you know, it's weird. It's like a sea foam color. I love and it. And I don't think I've ever seen that color like in the last 15 years. Yeah, or it's very nice. Years, I don't know. Also notice the awnings. They use the Gerard awnings. So it just makes it look a lot more flush. Okay. Nice grab handle to get in and out. Frameless windows, of course. And then look at these tires. They're the Michelin's. I love those. 275-80R22.5. Right here, you do have fuel fill on both sides. And then this is what I mean, Andre, when I see, say XCM, okay? Check out that storage there. So there's a few different types of chassis when it comes to these diesels, okay? So the first one, Andrea, is called an XCR um, or an XCS chassis. Take a look at that as well. The XCS chassis is gonna be a straight rail chassis, okay? Next, is going to be an XCR chassis. That is a raised rail chassis, but you still see the rail a little bit, but you do get the nice passenger storage like this. This motorhome is built on an XCM chassis, which is modular. So Fleetwood actually designs this part, giving you the most amount of basement storage with this slide out tray. It's fantastic. This slide out tray comes out on both sides. Also, you can get the slide out tray over there as well. Right over here, Andrea, Samsung TV on the outside. Very nice. And then here, it's gonna be your fresh water behind this electronic. Ooh, 
Got a little uh, Dirt Devil central vac right there. Yep, surge protector, battery disconnect, control center, everything. Okay. And then here you got your inverter, a little bit of storage. And then there you got a little bit more storage right there. Coming around the back, Andrea. We do have a 10,000 pound hitch. It's motorhome Kento, 10,000 pounds. Also, you got the air compressor right there for those Air Force One brakes or a stacker trailer, which is really nice. A ladder to get up on the roof. It is a um, one piece fiberglass roof on this unit. And uh, it has your backup camera there. Um, also, what the heck's going on? Can it tow? It can tow like what? 10,000 10, pounds. 10,000 pounds. I feel like there's an also, Andrea. Uh, also, the ladder that we, we don't really yeah, I don't, like. I don't like those ladders. But and it yeah. has uh, the thing for the Air Force One brakes, right? Or Andrea, I feel like there's an also, and I'm just missing <laughs> it there. Right here, we do have chrome, uh, chrome rear taillight designs, and it looks fantastic. Well, Matt, you know, we haven't recorded in a while, so. Well, I did with Will, but not motorhomes. Yeah, it get a little rusty. Right here, we got your batteries. Okay. okay. More batteries. More batteries. A little bit of storage, DEF fill. Very nice. Right. That was an awfully big battery bank. It must be all electric. Yes. Right here, 50 amp power cord on an electric reel, water filtration system, city water connection, potable water fill, potable. Potable. Outdoor shower, very nice. And then here, it's just everything else. Other side of the storage, there's the ladder. Yes. And as you can see, the more I tray here. Yes with spare towels for the floor. And right here, Andre, there's no propane, but it does have the Aqua Hot 400D hydronic heating system. And then Miss Jennifer, bing, if you could, please put all the specifications about this motorhome for everybody who's watching on TV. Here's the other side of your fuel fill. And right here, it's your blinker fluid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, there you go. Take a look. All right. Okay, Matt, you can grab the cargo carrying capacity. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, look at this. So we have the opposing slides. It's a, it's a little walkway. 3,470 pounds. Wow. All right, so it is, you know, it's doable, but it opens up right here. Get a little bit more space coming through. Let's see if we can open the fridge. Yes, you can open the fridge. Your half bath is in here. And then there's the master bedroom. Looks like the bed is a tilt-a-bed. Yes, and Andrea, while we get the side outs out, we're gonna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Just like that, Andrea, we're back. And guess what? Before we show everybody the cockpit area, here's how you win the bobblehead today. Comment down below. Let us know what you love about the interior of this motorhome and what you don't like about it. Especially, I wanna hear what you don't like about it because our, this is our favorite designer of interior motorhomes. So I'd love to hear if you're loving it or if you're not loving it. Also with your comment, hashtag it bobblehead. We are only taking entries from 7 p.m. tonight 
until 6.45 p.m. tomorrow, and then we will announce the winner in the comment section or in the description down below from that video on. Also, I'll comment on your comment if you're the winner, and you have to hashtag it bobblehead and be creative. If you say, I like the cabinets, guess what, Andre? <laughs> you're probably not gonna win. Tell us what you do love about this motorhome, what Fleetwood does the best, and if there is people out there that don't like the way this look, we want to hear that as well. Hashtag a bobblehead. Ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Oh, and by the way, no purchase necessary. We're paying for shipping and everything. If Matt's RV Reviews ever asks you for money, it's a scam. Don't do it. I do like money, though. But it's not me. Okay, Andrea, Freightliner. Custom Freightliner, super nice. Here's our blinds, our cup holders here. You can see our cameras and screens, radios, navigations and everything. Look at the digital dash. Tire pressure monitoring system. Very, very nice. You got the mobile eye collision mitigation. It's also a Freightliner chassis. Telescoping steering wheel. Okay. And then it has this analog transmission here switch, you know, which is very nice. Also, the mobile eye collision mitigation lane assist. And it has an air horn. <laughs> America, yes sir. Right here we have all our lights, generator switches, air conditioning controls, and then right there we got a little bit of storage underneath there. And beautiful porcelain tile floors. Andrea? Yes. How do you feel right there? Oh, it's very comfortable. I love these chairs. Uh, I always want to take a nap whenever I sit in them. Yes. It has a footrest, which is really nice. And then here we have the step cover. I just turned the engine off. Oh, okay. But the step cover does come yes. out. I have a cup holder here. Yes. And let me see. It looks like... Look at this nice embroidery oh, here. It's pretty. And both Armada. these do swivel, which is nice. Yep. I think I have a cabinet here. Yep. And just so everybody knows, here's your auto leveling controls. And then here's two slide out buttons. Um, But there's also slide out buttons on the Firefly system. Okay. There we go. Yep. A little bit of electronical components. Your Wi-Fi range are there and a TV. Yes, LG TV. Slide, yeah. Slide to I the know. left. Right here, King Air digital antenna and everything. All the electronical components that you're really looking for in a motorhome, this unit's going to have. We do have a bunk over the cab, Andrea, right here. Holds 500 pounds. Yep, and it's an easy to drop. It's the Lippert style, so you don't need to turn the seats or anything. It will just drop and stop right above the seats, which is a huge advantage. In my opinion, right over here, Andrea, check this out. Beautiful storage. I tell you what, you know what's crazy, Andrea? It's like, feels like every time we do a new Rev Group product, Fleetwood, American Coach, Holiday Rambler, it's like the interior is never the same, but it's like it's always the same. Right, but it seems like they change little things. And it's always beautiful. Right, check this out. Very nice stitching, nice balances. Good word work, Andrea. Approved, B! Did you expect anything else, America? I know. And then right here, we do have the MCD slow rise blinds and daytime blinds. But even these, I love how it's gray and it I matches the too. interior color. Okay, right here, a sofa theater seat. They do recline, cup holder, USB, and a little table tray holder there. And then Andre, get get what's right here. Really nice. And then directly across from this is the TV entertainment center. Now that blind tricked me. I'm like, that's stupid. There's no window there, but it actually just blended in real well. There is a window there. Not only that, you got the TV on the televator. It goes up and down. Love that feature. Okay. Put the sound bar up there. Yes, ma'am. Storage here. And here. I love that adjustable shelves. Very nice. Same on the other side. Yep, storage there and there. And again, having that TV is just such a nice feature. Power and USB right there. And then this is an Apex sofa, Andrea. Super comfortable, nice. Just so everybody does know, Ooh, there is a pull-out nice. mattress underneath here. That is not for you who is watching this, though. That is for your guests or whom we call your non-paying customers. Andre, look at the beautiful flooring all the way down. And then look up. Just little touches like this. It's artwork, it's nice. It's Art Deco. No. <laughs> oh. 
Still, even this painting that looks like a four-year-old did it, it's beautiful. It really does match the interior look in here. You know what I'm saying? It blends, yeah. It does. It's art. Right More here? storage. Yes, ma'am? I like the little um, knobs. I think they're really cute. Yeah. Very nice. I like the knobs, like corn on the cob. Is that a song you just made up? Eh, kind of. <laughs> All right, we've got a nice window right there. And okay, standing table. Yes. With four chairs, guys. Usually the two chairs are in the master under the bedroom, under yeah. the bed. Yeah. Why are you smiling weird? It's just. Did you, did I miss something? If you know, you know. Okay. And that's all I gotta say. Well, I don't know. I know. <laughs> right here, what's really nice is this uh, does have. <laughs> a pull out tray and like you can like set up like a computer here and that's for like a keyboard and everything really nice looking dinette two chairs permanent chairs okay and then this dinette does there you go slide out in case you have guests there is going to be two guest chairs I did under say. yep yeah. under that and then notice Ooh, how it's I not know. like a flush floor but it's not carpet either. I like this. I'm fine with that material. You have a nice little mantle where if you comment hashtag bobblehead with the question that we asked earlier on in the video, uh, you have a chance to win and leave your bobblehead right there. Nice uh, hand tiled backsplash above the fireplace. Now what's really nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Andrea? Yes. What is the MSRP of this motorhome? Oh, uh, wait. I have no idea. <laughs> um, why did I do that, Andrea? I don't know. We're out of it. We are very out of it. I told you we're rusty. Okay. MSRP on this motorhome here, Andrea, stock number 296252 out of Tampa, Florida, is $544,000. $631, Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, we can only share with you the maximum amount of a discount that we're allowed to advertise online, which is a 25% discount off MSRP. So you can get this for a sale price of $408,999. Now, Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But guess what? It's the holiday season. It's the season of giving. And I know if you reach out to General RV, We'll be giving you guys an even better price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us anytime and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea! Show us this beautiful kitchen. All right. Uh, look over here. We've got a cabinet with adjustable shelves. Yes. Over here, a solid surface countertop, and we've got a tower of power. Very nice. And this must be a pull-out peninsula. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Nice to have that extra counter space. We've got three drawers. Very nice. I love the window in here. Look at that nice panoramic window. Yeah, it's so nice to have that on your campsite. It really side. is. And then over here, we have a two burner induction cooktop. Now, is this a type that you can get out? I don't know if of that's course. a type. Yes. Okay. Let's see what we got underneath. We got a drawer. These are always heavy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I missed something. A little bit of storage right there. Okay, nice. We got a drawer here. Oh, yeah. Nice size. And then under, we've got the uh, Fisher Percal dishwasher. So nice. I wish they would. What nice features and amenities to have in a motorhome. Right. I wish they put them in more. And then we've got a cabinet up here with an adjustable shelf. Yes. Pretty backsplash. I okay. like that all the way around. And then we've got a farmhouse sink right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. With the extension. Beautiful. And then under, let's see if we have space for a trash can under here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, <laughs> that's a $176 trash can. Yes, it is. I'm glad they gave a trash can. Right. And then 
here's the pantry. And I love these. My favorite. Yes. And then we've got a what residential LG refrigerator right here. Uh-huh. A nice freezer. Yes. And it also, of course, locks into place. And, oh my gosh. It's not <laughs> Halloween. Sorry. What's the, wait. That's this, water. Right. Okay. It's just Oh, and it also makes um the ice cube string. Okay. So are you it, messing with me? Yeah, no, oh, it, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. It makes the ice cube. So this makes ice cubes out of that hole. So it comes out like spaghetti while it's in ketosis and then it swirls oh. around. Yeah. I don't know whether to believe you or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, Show, oh, oh, open the freezer. Let why everybody are you see the doing inside. That to me? That's the refrigerator. That's not yes. the Here's the freezer. So it makes ice. There's the ice <laughs> cube holder. Why do you do that? It's so mean. Okay, we got a nice door right here, There's Andrea. There's the pad that controls everything. Mm -hmm. Breaker box. Look at that. Good size medicine cabinet. Look at that. Very nice backsplash, just like the kitchen. Solid surface there. Uh, no, no storage. storage. Okay. Oh. Porcelain. I'm very close. You know what I'm going to say? I'm not going to pass it. I'm not going to fail it. What I mean is this does pass the prime poom position barely, but like for its price and how big this motorhome is and the fact that there's no storage underneath here, I'm not going to fail it, but it's just going to get like a net neutral. Fair enough. Hey, we don't make them. We just sell them. Um, look at this nice entryway into the master bedroom. Nice pocket door here. Yes. Right here, we have huge storage. That's where your spare chairs are. Oh, okay. Sometimes they put them under the bed. Yep. And then up here, you got some more storage. Down underneath, there is e adjustable shelves. Yes. The other wardrobe here. Yes. Very so nice. Down there. And then. Oh, okay. Nice drawers. That's a lot of drawers. Yes. Lots and lots of drawers all the way down. No, I don't think there's anything behind here. Oh, okay. Or if it is, it's really, really secret, but I don't think it is. Then over here, Andrea, we do have the tilt up bed. Look at the gold looking pillows, hmm. like the dead forest. You know what I'm saying? The dead forest. Oh yeah, like the winter forest. Yeah, but with like the gold leaves. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that. Oh, I like it. Nice storage above there, sound system. Windows on both sides, a very nice headboard. Yes. Uh, wireless phone charger, power and USB. And yeah. On the other side as well. Yes, ma'am. And then coming on into the master bathroom. Check this nice out. Nice pocket door there. Oh, wow. The first, first. Oh. Stackable yes. washer and dryer. Whirlpool. The best. Check out this huge shower, Andrea. I mean, tons of space, hand tile blade, tons of head height. Right here is the shower miser system. So if you're running off your tanks and not city water, you can heat your water before using it, which is really nice. And there's even a seat in here. So, so nice. Over here, we have sitting right here. Oh, liquefied. Our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopinposition.com to pick up a bottle. Uh, lavender scent, bottles, tablets, and at your local general RV. Uh, before we show you this, let me sit over here. Wow. Andrea, the first one was questionable. This one is definitely not questionable. Andrea, this is a prime poop in position. Bing! Very nice. Okay. Adjustable shelves in here? Yep. Yes. More wow. storage there. Nice uh, uh, flush and everything. Again, very nice windows. And then Andrea, show us this double vanity back here. Really pretty. I love the backlighting back here. So we've got a medicine cabinet right here. There we go. Very nice. They did um, core solid surface countertop in here too. And look at the pretty backsplash. Mm. I really like that. Yes. Underneath, we got some good storage. Okay. And then up here, that's very pretty. Wow. Adjustable shelves. We've got a drawer. Wow. And then we got more drawers. Wow. So I'm just gonna open the bottom one. No, I don't think that one's a drawer. Okay. 
And then under the other sink, you've got more storage. Wow. Very, Very nice. nice. Yeah, I mean, it is. And then more storage in that mirrored medicine cabinet as well, just to confirm. Just like that. Yes. And then you showed this middle one I too? I did. Dang, I Andrea. Did. I said it was very pretty. Well, I love it. Oh, wrong way. That's <laughs> it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we're loving about this unit and three things we're not loving about this unit. Andrea, what would you like to do first? This is tough, Matt. I think I got it though. Uh, let's just do the dislikes first. Yes, ma'am. Dislike number one for me. Oh, should I do a Keith Lee dislike? Again, this is my personal opinion. I do not mean any cause to this brand. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Do you guys watch Keith Lee? I love Keith Lee. I don't know who that is. Well, I guess you don't watch him. <laughs> Dislike number one for me is going to be the ladder. I hate the ladders. Never like the ladders. Because what it takes is a separate piece that hooks onto the ladder so people can climb up. Climb up. I hate that. Don't get me wrong. There is a benefit to having this style of ladder. And then don't get me wrong. You probably shouldn't be climbing up on your roof anyway. Pay some young buck at a dealership to climb up on the roof. But at the same time, for me, I'm not a fan of that style of ladder. That is dislike number one. Andrea, do you have a dislike number two? Or do you need me to take, take command? Well, I'm kind of like, I don't understand this cabinet here. I know it's silly. Did we even show it? Yeah, you okay. showed it when you were on the toilet. I think it's a waste of space. I honestly wish they would have made it a little bit bigger or something for towels because I'm looking in here and I'm like, the mm. only place you can put towels is under the sink mm. and maybe a lot of people, you know, wouldn't want to do that with the water. That's funny, Andre, because so, that's going to combo with my, with my dislike. My dislike was in this bathroom. Like, this oh, is yeah, pointless. Yeah. Why do you even even have that? Why are you taking it away from the prime poom position? That's pointless. This is your only little bit of storage here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So the bathrooms, as far as storage, was just a little low. And again, here's the deal, Andre. We're, we're picking. We're nitpicking. We're nitpicking for two reasons. One, it's hard to find dislikes in a motorhome. And two, it's just a phenomenal motorhome. And then three, we're nitpicking. Because like once you're at this dollar amount, I mean, they, they do check off a lot of boxes. So that's number two. And then, Andrea, dislike number three for me was I had it. The tilt-a-bed? Might have been the tilt-a-bed. Give me a second. Give me a second. Eight, five, four. Was it the tilt a bed? Well, I and can I say, hate saying that. I, I can okay. say, you, you, I, I, you go. Okay, I, am, I understand it's opposing slides. Uh, my dislike oh, I do was, remember mine. like when I was coming in, yeah. it was a little bit crowded. You reminded it. me. Yep. Yeah. Not only that, this bathroom door was a big pain in the butt to open, to open yes. when the slide outs were in. Great point, Andrea. Thank you. Yeah, because I was like trying to think, and then we'll always combo that with the tilt up bed. Even though I am starting to warm up the tilt up beds, but again, that was just not 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 cool with how tight it was when the slide outs were closed. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now for the easy part, it's time for three things we love about it. You give us the first one, please. Okay, so I love how comfortable the seats are. Yes. The, the sitting, like even the passenger seat is really comfortable. Yes. Swivel that, put the footrest out. And then, you know, these are super comfortable. Yes. So that's always important. Like a lot of times we're just looking and like, oh, it looks nice, but is it really, is it comfortable? Is, can you do it? Great point. Yes. To your point, that's my like number two. Not only is it comfortable, but yes, Andre, it does look nice. I, my personal opinion, these are the most beautifully designed motorhomes in the industry, period. You can find me a better belt. You can say, hey, this brand is better than that. They don't look better. Not in my eyes. I think with what they do with these interior colors and designs and the art deco on the wall and everything, it's beautiful, fantastic, and I love it. That is love number two. Andre, would you like to give us love number three? Um, or should I wrap it up? You know, I'm going to go here. Go there. Love number three for me is I, I love these floors. They're very pretty. They're very, like, glam. Yeah. And also, I do love this. Like, you know, a lot of times with slides, there's carpet on them. I like how this material is. It's like an outdoor carpet kind of look. Okay. So, I like that. Okay. I it's would actually flush. disagree with that on this level of motorhome, but I'm not going to disagree with that. 
But again, just to add to what you were saying, the flooring in here, um, and I'm going to say just the layout, the feel of it. Big living room, big kitchen, big bedroom, big bathroom. It's just a big old motorhome and cramming it all in at 40 feet, one inch. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this motorhome or any motorhome, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. If you guys want to win the bobblehead, again, comment down below with the question that we asked earlier today. I will be, com you only have 24 hours to enter from seven o'clock tonight till 6.45 p.m. the next day. And if you don't win the bobblehead, make sure you tune in every night leading up to Christmas because we are giving away bobbleheads every single day. And all previous winners we will put in the comment section down below or in the description down below. We will never ask you for money. You, if you win, you have to email me always at mattsrvreviews.com. If I ask for money or Zell or anything that's a scam, please don't fall for it. Andrea! What do you got to say? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Uh, Holiday Rambler, Rev Group, they do read the comments, you guys. So please leave your feedback. We want to know what you think about the interior, the exterior, the new colors. Yes. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. You.